ecdp.cbps.xyz. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, as you know, one of the most intriguing aspects of the ECDP cartridge is the fact that it was password protected. It's the reason both Cody and myself had to jump through so many hoops to get past the title screen, because both of our copies had pre-existing passwords that were put there by the McDonald's crew members who first obtained it. But one thing we didn't know until recently was the answer to this question. How did you set up a cartridge for the first time? The answer is hilariously complicated. See, apparently McDonald's was so worried about the valuable corporate knowledge hidden within ECDP falling into the wrong hands, that each new copy of the game shipped to a McDonald's store actually came with its own custom password specifically designed to only work with one specific store number, one specific store manager, and here's the best part, one specific Nintendo DSi. You're hearing that right, it was locked to the hardware. Sure enough, one of the most common issues we've encountered with people trying to play the ECDP ROM is that if they haven't properly loaded the save file I distributed, the title screen will not let them get past it. On a blank save of ECDP, Every single thing on the main menu is locked out and plays this loud beep error sound when you try to select it. Everything that is except for serial number entry, which is how this thing works. So you're probably asking yourself, how is this even possible? How could McDonald's have created a hardware specific security system tailored to specific DSi units? The answer is actually kind of ingenious. They did it using the DSi's unique MAC address. And we're just gonna breeze right past the Mac pun and go on to the hard data here. Here's a basic explanation courtesy of a hacker known as Silica. And you might be asking yourself, how does Silica know this for a fact? Here's the answer. It's because Silica cracked it. Not only did they crack it, they reverse engineered this password in its entirety and created a full publicly available keygen website for it. So now by heading to ecdp.cbps.xyz, and punching in your DS's actual MAC address, plus any store number and manager number you feel like making up, because it really doesn't matter what you put in, the site will spit out a working, functional serial number that you can input to unlock the game. McDonald's DSi security, 10 years later, has finally been blown wide open.